If you're here, you want to learn how to properly bleed the system. So that can be applied when you remove any part of the cooling system. So please stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So this method applies to both first and second generation Scion TC. These funnels work great to bleed the system because they allow you to add extra coolant and you can see the bubbles coming out of it. You can find these on Amazon. They're super easy to install and come with many adapters and make this process very easy. It's always best to stick to the, what the manufacturer recommends. I'm using this 50-50 Toyota coolant. So depending on which component from the cooling system you're removing, I recommend you get two quarts of coolant just in case you need some extra coolant. So once the coolant stops going down, go ahead and start the vehicle. Make sure it's a neutral if it's a manual car. So go ahead and start up the vehicle. And at this point, you're going to turn the heater on, put it at the hottest setting and fan at max. When the heater gets warm, that's an indication that the system is reaching operating temperature. You'll notice when the needle right here is in the middle. So make sure you check the coolant right away when you start the vehicle. That way, if it needs coolant, you go ahead and add some. You're going to start seeing bubbles arise from the uh, from the coolant and that's because there's air in the system. So basically the goal is to get all the air out of the system. Using this tool is not necessary, but it helps. To speed up the process, I like to use this pedal depressor and raise the RPM to 2000. That way this helps the thermostat open up quicker. This procedure should take about 25 to 30 minutes, give or take. So the reason you want the thermostat to open is because that's an indication that the vehicle has reached operating temperature. So basically that means that the coolant has now traveled all around the system at operating temperature. And you'll also notice that the fans will be turned on. That's also an indication that the vehicle has reached operating temperature. So you also want to make sure that both of the hoses are the same temperature. The last thing you want to check is make sure that the coolant has no bubbles coming out of it. So let's do a recap of this procedure really quickly. All right, let's start from the beginning. Let's say it's been more than 30 minutes and you want to confirm that there is no more air in the system. A couple things should have already happened. Number one, the heater of the vehicle should be hot. Number two, the needle on the gauge for the temperature should be in the middle. Number three, the fans should have already turned on. Number four, the thermostat should have already opened. You can confirm that by touching the upper radiator hose. It should be hot to the touch. So should the bottom hose. They should be roughly around the same temperature. And then lastly, there should be no more bubbles in the coolant. So once it's been around 30 minutes or more, some cars might take more time to heat up. But once you confirm that there's no more bubbles, go ahead and remove the funnel. And after that, th please dispose of the coolant properly if you're not gonna you know, use it. You can always take it to some auto parts stores that recycle these types of liquids, or you can save it. It's always good to have extra coolant. So after this, go ahead and check all your clamps, check your work, uh, make sure everything's tight. Go ahead and seal the system by installing the radiator cap. Let it warm up for a few more minutes and again check for leaks. Go for a test drive and lastly, you can never be too careful, check for leaks one more time. If you have any questions regarding this, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any question you guys have. So you can always refer back to this video because I'm going to be doing more videos on the cooling system on the first and second generation Scion TC. So thanks for watching and see you next video.